Hello everyone. I have noticed a difference in the way that men are supposed to behave compared to how we can behave. Notice the way I said supposed and can. Men are not supposed to cry. To this day, some women think, oh, you should be more open and why don't you ever express your feelings? And then he expresses his feelings, sometimes even shedding tears. And the response is, Oh, you're being so weak. What is wrong with you? Man up. I'm sorry. You can't have it both ways. Either you want him to express his feelings or you don't. Honestly, I believe there are times when every single woman and every single man should express their feelings. If a woman is giving birth and she's done it before, why would she be upset that she's doing it again? Men, please listen here for a minute. We need to normalise men's emotional outbursts. Do men need to cry as much as women? No. Here's why. Men are not flooded with hormones in the way that we are. And believe me, men, you don't want to be. So there will be less crying fits than women. And here's another thing that you don't want to have, men. If you are a nursing mother and someone cries in front of you, you can start producing milk, even if it's not a baby. That's not something I think men want to go through. That's not something I think men should go through. Random side tangent, but I do believe that it is the best advert for feeding them yourself. There you are, leaking food, and then some people will say, oh well, I'll just go and make some artificial one. Not that you shouldn't bottle feed if that's what you prefer, but if that's what's happening to you, it's free and you're literally pouring with it. I can just imagine the baby's frustrated face. If chicken was raining down from the sky and then someone decided to make artificial food and it took longer than the food falling from the sky, I think everyone would be irritated by that, personally. And no men, it's not something you want to experience. It's not happened to me. However, I have seen it happen. To any women watching this, if you find it uncomfortable, you can always put your milk in a bottle, which will give it the best nutrition, but not have to have the discomfort. Back to the men though for a second. I do just want to say that we need to make it normal that men cry, because men don't cry often. So if they do, we need to pay attention. It obviously means a lot more because it doesn't happen as much. We can cry because we woke up in a bad mood or just out of frustration. If a man is crying, we need to pay attention. And I tell you, it's the same even with animals because my dog will act tough in front of everyone outside and then just as soon as we're indoors, starts acting like a huge baby because he's behind closed doors. So to recap, it's all right for men to cry. It's all right for women to cry. It's all right for men to get angry. It's alright for women to get angry. It's also okay for both genders to talk about their mental health without being ridiculed or made fun of. And irregardless of gender, if you see someone having a bad day, try and say something nice. We're all human beings. You will not see, however, as many tears from men as women, because we have more hormonal sensitivities. But that does not mean that men should be overlooked when they show emotion because the emotions will come out in one way or another and if it doesn't come out with tears they could come out in an outburst or screaming and shouting no one can really hold them in so it's better they come out naturally and ladies if your man finds it hard to do so just be an ear sometimes that's all he wants just an ear not a recommendation not a how-to just an ear if he then looks as if he wants to have advice he'll probably ask. But if he doesn't, just listen and sympathise. So if we expect the man to protect us and shield us from danger, then that means that they have seen things and done things which could traumatise them. And that is why we need to be there for them. So give them that comfort, that need, that support. Don't belittle them. Because next time when you want that spider pulled out of the bath, they'll have every right to point and laugh. But anyway, if you're still here, then you're handsome and you're beautiful. And you, well, I'm speechless. 
I'll let you know next time I see you. Over to the pets. Hello all, this is Sylvie. If you liked what you saw, then subscribe for more. Hey everyone, my name's Bon jo. If you enjoyed yourself, then give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. Hi everybody, I'm Jack. And if you had fun, then comment down below and let my mum know who was the superhero in your life.